you better be scared of complying and you better stop thinking that compliance is the way out of this. If you comply within three years, you're going to have a digital currency, your digital ID and your digital vaccine passport all rolled into one big thing online. And if you're not up to date on your vaccines, you're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to travel. You're not going to be able to do anything. On top of that, your digital currency is going to have a social credit score attached to it. So if you do shows like this or you talk to people like me or even take pictures with people like me, your social credit score drops and you lose your privileges like international travel. Then you lose your privileges like domestic travel. Then you lose your privileges like being able to work. So you can't, literally won't even be able to think the wrong things in the post-industrial world. You will not own a home. You will not own a car. You will live in a 150 square foot box that may or may not have its own bathroom depending on your social status. The entire life you live is going to be designed so everything you need, do, and work with is within a 15-minute walk of your own home because they don't want you going anywhere. They don't want you doing anything. After they get you used to these lockdowns, which they've already done, they're going to lock you down for whatever reason they want, and the newest reason is going to be climate lockdown. They're going to release these wonderful studies that showed how our lockdowns with our, the lack of human activity actually healed the earth and saved us from global warming. And the only way we're gonna be able to stave off future catastrophe is if we do roving lockdowns and we have all these new environmental regulations. When you start hearing the term build back better, that's code word for we're taking your wealth, we're taking your property, and we're gonna use all different types of restrictions to destroy your freedom.